now let us discuss about q interface in collections q interface is available in util package in collections every interface class and methods are available in util package only q interface extends collection interface so here collection is the parent interface so collection child interface is q interface so here the relationship between interface to interface is extends class to interface means implements here q is interface collection is interface so we can say that q interface extends collection interface so collection is parent whereas q is child interface so what is collection collection is the parent whereas what is the child interface q is the child interface okay so this is parent and this is child next q interface represents a real world q so in a q interface is nothing but it represents a q like example people waiting at a movie ticket counter or a line of people waiting at the bank so any q is nothing but q only a line of people always represents q only next q is a linear data structure which is used to store a collection of objects so here q means linear data structure what is a linear data structure all the objects will be arranged in linear fashion so one by one like this so what is the use of q it is useful to store a collection of objects next q works based on the principle of fifo fifo means first in first out in means insertion out means deletion so what is first in first out the element which is inserted first into the queue will be deleted first from the queue in queue we have two ends so one is front end the other one is rear end so front is nothing but beginning of the queue whereas rear means end of the queue okay so here let us assume that here uh, uh, we have a queue like this so initially front end rear points to minus 1 so here we can perform insertion at rear end so insertion operation will be performed from end of the queue end of the queue is nothing but rear end whereas deletion operation will be performed at the front end so front means beginning of the queue so from beginning of the queue we can perform the deletion operation so initially front end rear points to minus 1 so minus 1 means q is empty let us assume that we want to insert 10 20 30 10 20 30 so initially 10 is inserted so before that uh, we know that insertion means it will be performed from the rear end so what is the previous value of rear minus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 means 0 insertion will be done at rear end so we have to increment the rear value so now rear points to 0 so insert the value here next front always points to the beginning of the queue here the beginning of the queue is 0 so front and rear are at 0 next let us perform one more insertion operation so for performing insertion we are using the rear end so now rear will be incremented so rear points to 1 so 20 friend will be at zeroth index only now let us perform one more insertion operation insertion will be done from rear end so increment rear value now rear points to 2 so insert the element so now friend is at 0 beginning of the queue rear is nothing but 2 end of the queue so likewise we can perform the nq operations one by one next let us perform one removal operation removal will be done from the front end so what is the front value 10 so 10 will be removed 
and after that friend value will be incremented after performing the removal operation we have to increment the friend value so now friend points to one rail points to two so likewise we can perform the operations okay now let us see about methods of the queue so on queue interface uh, to, uh, we, we have plenty of methods but uh, these seven methods are important one so the first method is yard method second method is offer method third one remove method fourth one poll method fifth one element method sixth one peak method seventh one size method yard method is useful in order to add an element to the queue suppose if the insertion is successful then it returns true value suppose if the insertion fails so when the insertion will fails we are performing yard operation so when the queue is full then we can say that insertion operation fails so if insertion fails then it returns an exception next we have offer method yard method and offer method both are same only offer method is also useful in order to add an element to the queue if the insertion is successful it returns true value whereas if the insertion fails that means if the queue is full then it returns false value so this is the only difference between yard and offer if the insertion fails yard method returns exception whereas offer method returns false next remove poll these two methods are same only uh, these two methods are useful in order to remove the topmost element in order to remove the head of the queue so here head means this 20 is the head so if we have 10 here so this 10 is the head so it removes the topmost element of the queue and it returns that element so 10 will be removed and it will it will be returned so if the if the deletion operation successful then remove method and poll method returns the deleted element so here what is the deleted element 10 is the deleted element so that element will be returned if the operation fails when the deletion operation fails if the queue is empty then it is not possible to perform the deletion operation so if the queue if the deletion operation fails then remove method returns exception whereas poll method returns null poll method returns poll method returns null so null indicates that the queue is empty next element method and peak method both are same only so with the help of these two methods we can return the topmost element so if we use the peak method here what is the topmost element 10 10 will be returned but it won't be deleted it won't be deleted so the index will be at this at this place only so the topmost element will be returned suppose if the operation fails if peak operation or element operation fails then what will happen when it will fails if the queue is empty then element method returns exception whereas peak method returns null size returns the size of the queue so here uh, uh, very very simple here yard method remove method element method these three methods returns exception if the operation fails so yard method is useful for adding an element into the queue if it is successful then it returns true otherwise it will returns exception remove method is useful for removing the topmost element if the operation successful it returns that deleted element otherwise it will returns exception element method is useful for returning the topmost element if it is true then it returns that element if it is false then it returns exception so these three methods returns exception offer method for adding only but if operation fails then it returns false poll method returns null peak method returns null here we can't implement the interface directly so in order to use the full functionality of the queue in order to perform all these operations 
we have three classes which are available in two interface the first class is link list class the second class is priority queue class priority queue class the third class is array dq array dq class so with by using these three classes we can implement the queue interface now let us discuss about how we can use link list representation of the queue in the upcoming two videos we will see about priority queue representation as well as array dq operation now let's see the link list representation now let's see the link list representation of the queue here uh, that link list uh, class is available in util package so import space java dot util dot star semicolon next name of the class is queue demo this is our main class so our file name is queue demo and we have main method next here we are creating an object for the link list class here we want to work with strings so that's why here uh, within the angle brackets we specified string here here what is the what is the interface we are using here uh, we are using link list class link list this is the class ticket queue is the reference is equal to we are creating the object new link list here we are working with only strings we don't want to work with other data types so that's why within the angle brackets we need to specify string so here also string and this is the constructor okay instead of link list we can also use queue also why because link list class is available in queue interface only okay next ticket queue dot add of elis what is the use of add method add method is useful in order to add an element to the queue so now the queue contains elis insertion will be done from the rare end so elis will be initially present in the queue next to ticket queue dot add of bob so at the end bob will be added now queue contains elis and bob next with the help of offer also we can perform the insertion operation so ticket queue dot offer of charlie so now the queue contains elis bob charlie why because insertion will be done from rare end end of the queue next david we are adding so if we display ticket queue then in the square brackets we will get the output elis bob charlie and david okay elis bob charlie and david next we are using the element method so what is the use of element method element method is mainly useful for removal operation element method is you i'm sorry uh, the major use of element and peak is for returning the topmost element so here what is the topmost element elis is the topmost element so elis will be returned what is elis it is a string so that's why we are representing string here suppose if we want to work with only integers then here we need to specify int okay so ticket queue dot element means it will returns the topmost element so what is the topmost element if you see the output so what is the topmost element so people in the queue elis bob charlie david so first person in the queue elis next system dot out dot print ln first person in the queue so what is the output what is the output ticket queue dot peak means topmost element what is the topmost element elis is the topmost element next we are performing the removal operation ticket queue dot remove so what is the use of remove method it removes the topmost element and it will be returned so here we are returning the string so that's why here we are storing the information in the string variable string removed person equal to if we want directly here also we can write uh, here we can use ticket queue dot remove ticket queue dot in place of removed person we can use that uh, variable ticket queue dot remove so that uh, what is the first one first uh, uh, first element of the queue elis so elis will be displayed here next if we use the next statement ticket queue dot poll method so what is the use of poll the topmost element will be removed and it will be returned 
so now polled person contains bob so if we display polled person then we will get bob so in place of polled person we can also write ticket q dot poll next if we display the size then the size contains two elements why because the first two are deleted so the size of the queue is two next if we display the ticket queue then we will get remaining elements so what are the remaining elements charlie and david so that is nothing but linked list representation of the queue in the next video we will discuss about uh, priority queue representation of the queue